Hello guys, I am engineer Muhammad Adnan Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel Being Engineer. Before we proceed to our topic, if you are new to my channel, you are requested to please subscribe to my channel, like the video and if you have any suggestions or questions related to civil engineering, please let me know in the comment section below. Let's get started. Today our topic is related to quantity estimation of earthwork for an embankment. In this video we will learn how to calculate the quantity of earthwork required for an embankment by using mean area method. Let it solve by an example. An example it says calculate the quantity of earthwork for an embankment 125 meter long. So we came to know the length of an embankment is 125 meter and the top width of the an embankment is 12 meter and the side slopes are 2 ratio 1. Side slope is 2 ratio 1 and the depths at each 25 meter interval are 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.2, 1.6, 1 1.2 meter and the depths are taken at 25 meter interval. We will use this table format for the calculation of quantity of earthwork for an embankment. In first column we have station point starting from 0 and up to 125 meter that is total length of an embankment. So starting from 0 at 0 the depth of a, an depth of the embankment is 0 0.4 at 25 meter its depth is 0 0.6 at 50 meter its depth is 0 0.8 at 75 the depth is 1.2 at 100 the depth of embankment is 1.6 at 125 the depth of embankment is again 1.2 as we are using mean area method so we will have to calculate the area of this embankment if, if you look at this diagram we divided the embankment into three portions that is central portion that is in the form of a rectangle and the sides of a embankment is in the form of right angle triangle. So we will calculate the area of this portion and the area of sides of sides of embankment. So to calculate the area of rectangle as we know the formula for the area of rectangle is B multiplied by D that is breadth multiplied by depth. The breadth is constant throughout the length of embankment that is 12 meter and the depth is varying throughout the length of the embankment. So at 0 RD the depth is 0 0.4. So to get the area at 0 RD we will multiply 0 0.4 that is depth multiply by B which is constant and its value is 12. B multiply by D. 12 multiply by 0 0.4 we will get 4.8. 0 0.6 is the depth. B is constant. Breadth 0 0.6 multiply by 12 we will get 7.8. 0 0.8 multiply by breadth which is 12 multiply by 0 0.8 we will get 9.6 similarly 1.2 multiply by breadth that is 12 we will get 14.4 1.6 that is depth will be multiplied by its breadth which is 12 we will get 19.2 similarly we will calculate the area of this rectangle at 125 meter that is 14.4 this is the this column shows the area of different at 25 intervals having different depths for this rectangle so to calculate the area of these right angle triangles we will use this column the formula for this formula for the area of these triangles is SD square as we can see the area for right angle triangle is 1 over 2 base into height but here the slope is given if the slope is given we use the formula s1 d square divided by 2 for the area of right angle triangle here we can see the ratio is same on both sides 2 ratio 1 2 ratio 1 so s1 is equal to s2 so by adding these two we will get sd square s is the slope which is 2 multiply by D. D is depth at 0. So 
to get 0.32 we will multiply slope that is 2 multiply by 0.4 square 0.32 similar to we will get 0.72 that is s which is constant slope multiply by d depth is 0.6 0.72 similarly we can calculate all these values by using this simple formula now to get the total area total area means the area of this rectangle and the area of these two triangles we will add this column and this column by adding 4.8 plus 0.32 we will get 5.12 similarly by adding these two we will get 7.92 similarly by adding 9.6 plus 1.28 we will get this value all these values can can be calculated in this by adding this and this value by adding these two columns as we are using mean area method we will have to calculate the mean area which is equal to a1 plus a2 divided by 2 a1 is 5.12 a2 is 7.92 so to get the mean value as we can see here 5.12 which is area 1 plus 7.92 which is area 2 divided by 2 we will get 6.52 square meter 6.52 similarly we will add 7.92 7.92 plus 10.88 divided by 2 we will get 9.4 square meter similar to get 14.08 we will add 10.88 plus 17.28 we will get 14.08 so by adding 17.28 plus 24.32 divided by 2 we will get 20.76 similarly we can get 14.08 by adding these two values and then dividing it by 2 to get the mean value the next column is interval is as the depths are taken at 25 meter interval so the interval is constant that is 25 to get the quantity of fill we will multiply 25 with 6.52 we will get the quantity of fill this whole portion of the embankment is in the filling there is no cut so there will be no value in the column of cut so to get 235 we will multiply these two columns similar to get 352 we will multiply these two columns and all these values can be calculated in similar manner so by adding all these values 163 235 352 519 352 we will get the total quantity of earthwork required for filling of this embankment that comes out to be 1621 cubic meter this is the total quantity of earthwork required for this embankment so that's all for today